Welcome to Countout. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do the future value of a lump sum using the financial calculator, the BA2 plus Texas instrument. So how do we do this? And what do we mean by the future value of a lump sum? Well, a lump sum is an amount that occurs once, okay? So you make the payment either now or later, but we're going to see the future value of a lump sum. So what you're trying to compute is the future value. Obviously, now if it's the future value, the lump sum occurs now. Now we have done this lesson using the formula and I would encourage you to ch check that one out because we explained in great detail how you calculate it and why we use the figures that we use. And we also looked at the compounding if it's compounded more than once and we're going to look at it here, the exact same examples. So you'll find the link to that lesson in the description below. But how do you do this? Well, let's go through them one by one. We have three examples with different compoundings and we'll explain how it's done. Okay, so here's our calculator. We've made sure, that, okay, our calculator is on. So let's make sure that we've cleared our memory. Now, one way you usually clear your memory when you're doing time value of money, as you can see, these are the time value of money elements. We press second function, and then you press here, it's written FV, because on top it's written clear time value of money or clear TVM, okay? But usually I don't like using that uh, a lot because when you put in the number of compoundings and I'll show you how you do that uh, sometimes when you press second function uh, FV it does not really clear the compoundings you have inputted okay so I like pressing second function and then I press here it's written plus slash minus and you can see it's resetting the calculator and then I press enter to confirm and then I just press here CE slash C to clear my screen okay so you want to get into the habit of doing that, especially with your financial calculator, because if you do not clear your memory and it has uh, and it has the memory from the previous calculation where you had uh, put in some settings, you will always get to the wrong answer. OK, most probably. OK, so let's look at the first one. John deposits 20,000 rand into a savings account for a period of 10 years. This investment earns 8% interest compounded annually. How much will John have or will he receive in 10 years time okay so that's just a typo it's supposed to be john okay how much will he receive in 10 years time so here what they're telling us is that john deposits twenty thousand rand today okay so it's a lump sum it's only once off for a period of 10 years so it's gonna wait for a period of 10 years before he takes it out and this investment earns eight percent interest compounded annually now that's why i said if you check out the the one we did using the formula we explained what compounded annually means it means compounded once per year and your calculator by default it's compounded once per year so you don't have to do anything with regards to compounding because by default your calculator is compounded once per annum okay so if it's compounded once it's an easy calculation we're calculating how much you will receive in 10 years time so here's how we do that it's compounded annually it's easy We've cleared our memory. Now, what do we do? We put in the number of years. How many years is it for? It's for 10 years. So you just press 10, okay, 10. And then you go to where it's written N here. N stands for the number of years or the number of compounding periods, it's 10. So I just put the number 10 and then I press N. Okay, the next thing is to put the interest rate, it's 8%. So I press eight and then I press I slash Y, which stands for the interest rate, okay. And then the, 20,000 rand is the present value because it's depositing, depositing that amount into a savings account today. So I put 20,000 and then I press PV. Okay, that's the present value. Okay, now what do I want? I want the future value because it's asking us to calculate how much you will receive in 10 years time. That's the future. So that's the future value. And here we have FV. So how do we compute it? Well, here, yeah, the very first button on top, it's CPT, which stands for compute. Okay, I've pressed compute and then I press FV. So that's what I'm telling the calculator. I want the future value. And there you have it for the 3,178.50. That's how much you will receive in 10 years time. Okay, let's move on to the second one. Let's move on to the second one. What are we told here? Okay, we are told that John deposits 20,000 ran into a savings account for a period of 10 years. Okay, same as the first one. This investment earns 8% interest, but it's compounded quarterly. Okay, so it's not annually now. Now we have a change here. Calculate how much you will receive in 10 years time. So the only difference between the first one and the second one is the number of compoundings per year. The first one was compounded annually. Your calculator by default, it's compounded annually. So here it's compounded quarterly now okay so what is a quarter how many quarters do you have in a year we have four quarters in a year okay we have four quarters in a year so you always have to know that quarter is four times a year okay so now our calculator by default i say it's compounded annually it's compounded once per year okay so there are two ways you can do this actually 
you can do it manually okay where you input it manually the second option is by changing the number of compoundings per year in your calculator by default it's once per year so we change that to four times per year because it's quarterly and then we do the calculation so i'm going to show you both ways okay let me show you how you do it manually again let's clear our memory okay we reset our calculator second function uh, plus slash minus and then you press enter okay then i press c slash c to clear my screen okay now we do this how do you do it manually well we know it's compounded quarterly four times per year how many years do we have we have 10 years okay but even though we have 10 years we know it's compounded four times per year and if you looked at the formula you would know how to do this if you looked at the 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 lesson using the formula you know how to do this okay so what do we do we take 10 years which we are given here and the number of compoundings we multiply times four okay and then i press equals and then i press n okay so the number of compounding periods is not 10 it's 40 because i take the number of years 10 years times four compoundings per year it gives me 40 okay that's how i do it manually okay and then the interest rate is eight percent okay but i'm not just gonna put eight percent i have to take eight divide by the number of compoundings per year which is four and then i press equals and then i press i slash y okay you can see what's happening here with the end we multiply the number of years by the compounding with the i slash y we divide the interest rate by the number of compounds per year okay and then once we've done that we have twenty thousand rand that is investing today i could just put twenty thousand rand as it is press pv and then i press cpt which stands for compute and then i press fv to compute future value and that has given me forty four thousand hundred and sixty rand seventy nine cents okay that is how you do it manually without changing the number of compounds per year within the calculator remember by default it's once like i keep on mentioning another thing I, I should mention here when you're doing time value of money calculations you can notice here the future value comes as a negative the reason it's coming as a negative is because i put my present value as a positive okay so it doesn't really matter just be aware that if you put your present value as a positive your future value will come out as a negative it does not change the answer everything stays the same so it's not a train smash but usually the by practice people want to like to put the present value as a negative because you're investing you're taking out money and you're putting it into an investment account and the if you put the present value as a, as a negative your future value will come out as a positive meaning you're receiving back that money but for me it doesn't really Really matter just know that present value and future value will have opposite signs okay so that's how you do it manually let me show you how you do it by inputting into the calculator the number of compoundings again let me clear my um, reset my calculator second function plus slash minus enter and then c each slash c okay so here's how you input into your calculator the number of compoundings per year if you can see here i slash y on top it's written p slash y which stands for the number of payments per year or the number of compoundings per year so what do you do let's go to second function and then you press i slash y and then it comes to p slash y okay and then i press four because it's quarterly it's four times per year and then i press enter okay and then if you go if you press the downward arrow you can see the compoundings per year is four that's what you want to see now you've changed the input, uh, the, the number of compoundings per year for the calculator. You've changed it from one to four, okay? Now you press uh, C slash C to clear your screen. Now your calculator knows that it's compounded four times per year, okay? So now how do you do this? Well, for your us to get N, we press 10, which is the 10 years, and then you press second function, and then you press N, okay? And then you press n again to confirm now it's 40 you confirm by pressing n again why did i press n because on top of n you can see it's times p slash y okay this is times the number of compoundings per year so i press 10 second function n it shows you the multiplication 10 times 4 is 40 and then you press n again to confirm don't forget to press n again to confirm okay now that we've done that we put the eight percent which is the interest rate you don't have to divide or anything just put eight and then you press i slash y actually everything else stays the same and then you put the pv which is twenty thousand, and then you compute cpt and then you press future value and there you get the exact same answer forty four thousand hundred and sixty seventy nine cents okay i hope that has made sense let's do the last one and it will be more clear okay again let me clear my uh, reset my calculator uh, okay now how much will you have at the end of five years if you invest ten thousand rand now with an interest rate of nine percent per annum compounded semi-annually now i'll encourage you to pause the video here try and do it on your own 
and then you can continue the video and compare your answer to my answer okay so you can pause right now and try it yourself okay i hope you have paused and now we can continue okay so how much will you have at the end of five years if you invest 10,000 rand today now with an interest rate of 9% per annum. Now the first thing you notice it's compounded more than once per year. Again you can do it manually or you can input into the calculator the number of compoundings and then you, you should get the same answer. So, so let's do it manually first. So I'll be a bit quicker here because we did it before. So manually the number of years is five years but we know it's compounded semi-annually. Semi-annually is twice per year. Okay semi-annually is every six months so it's twice per year. Five times the two compoundings per year and then i press equals and then i press n okay and then once i've pressed n i can do the interest rate which is nine percent i know it's compounded twice so i divide the interest rate like we did earlier divide by two and then i press equals and then i press i slash y okay and then the present value is ten thousand rand so i'm going to put ten thousand then press present value and then i just compute future value so i just press cpt here and then i press fv and there it has given me fifteen thousand five hundred and twenty nine rand sixty nine cents that is manually now let me reset my calculator second function plus slash minus enter ce slash c okay i've reset my calculator now let's input into the calculator the number of compound per year okay i press second function and then i press i slash y and then I put the number of compounds per year, it's twice because it's semi-annually, okay, and then I press enter, okay, and then I press the download area, you can see there, the components per year is two, okay, and then I just clear the screen, C slash C, and then now I can put the number of years, which is five, and then I have to press second function, and then I press N, five times two compounding, obviously is 10, and then I press N again to confirm, and then the interest rate, I just put it as it is, 9%, and then I press I slash Y, and then the PV, I put 10,000 Rand, okay? So let me show you, I'll put 10,000 Rand as a negative. I put 10,000 and I press plus slash minus to put it as a negative, and I press PV, and then I compute CPT, and then I press FV. You can see my present, my future value comes out as a positive because I put my present value as a negative. That's what I meant earlier when I mentioned that, okay? And you can see it gives me the same answer whether I do it manually or I input the number of compoundings into the calculator. I hope this lesson has made sense. I hope you have gained value from it. And if you have, you can tell us in the comment section below or what you would like clarified. Otherwise, if you have gained value, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.